Okay, everybody, here we go. It's me, Greg Manorino, Wednesday, August 28th, 2024, pre-market report. Right now, this market is waiting to hear from NVIDIA. Their earnings are about to come out. I don't frankly give a damn what they are. Uh, honestly, there's only one thing, one, propelling this market right now, and that's easy money from the Federal Reserve. Uh, whether these come, these earnings from NVIDIA come in good or bad, of course, it can move the market one way or the other in the short term, people. But if you believe for a second that things that should matter, we don't even have a market. You know that already. This is some kind of a free for all here. Things that should matter, fundamental factors that should matter, they don't anymore. The promise here of easy money that is about to be, it's already getting pumped in here on an epic scale. Do you think that the 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 uh, the yield curve dropping the way that it is, bond yields falling through the floor, the US dollar plummeting here, uh, which we covered yesterday, got a lot of coverage from the mainstream media outlets as well. Look, the truth always gets out there. Pay attention to these things here. So. If you believe that these things are going to stop anytime soon, well, then I don't. Then, then you're, you're obviously in the in the in the wrong spots here. Then uh, I don't know what to tell you. With regard to, look, um, I'm getting a lot of feedback from people out here who still don't get it with regard to why we need to own commodities. Why at least Greg Manorino believes you need some cryptocurrency in your portfolio. I never said. Never. And there's this other rumor going around that Greg has said to go all in on the stock market. I never said that. I never said to go all in on anything. What have you heard me say repeatedly? You need to be diversified. That, that's just my take on it. And I have said that you can be overweight a particular asset class. For example, you like precious metals. Most of you, I think, do. You realize the value here. It's it's astronomical, and we'll talk more about that in just a moment here. Um, you can have your uh, allocation into a particular asset class more so than than another asset class. For example, exposure to stocks or exposure to uh, precious metals in this case, or cryptocurrency. I know a lot of you are all in on cryptocurrency. I think being all in on anything is a mistake. So when you hear that Greg Manorino uh, is saying to go all in on this, that, or the other thing, ignore it. It's just a lie. There's so much propaganda out here. Uh, even on this blog, I believe that we're being invaded by bots, by those who are trying to mislead you. Oh, Greg said this, or Greg said that. You know what I say. If you've been with me for any length of time, you know my perspective, and we are not going to change this. Look, let me bring something else to your attention here. This is where we are with regard to the MMRI. People, this is the best tool that I think has ever been created to gauge risk in this market. Now, Let's look at this real quick. MMRI, again, link in the description of this video, free to everybody. We have fallen off of a cliff. You know that this isn't just squiggly lines. You're able to see, visualize what the Fed is doing, buying all the debt, weakening the dollar. We have now hit a support level. And uh, I posed a question uh, last night to those of you that do follow my newsletter. Where do you think this is going to go? You think we're going to fall right through this support level? Or we get a bounce off of it? Or what's going to happen? It's kind of a mixed bag. I, and I'll be honest, I'm not even sure myself. But my bet would be we're going through here. Um, possibly after a little bit of a bounce. And then we're going through. Because what do we know is going to happen, people? I mean, it's in your face. We realize, you and me. Please pay attention to these things. It's just too important. If we know you and me, we are we haven't seen anything yet with regard to currency devaluation. Central banks collectively destroying the purchasing power of their currency. They're 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 wiping out a large percentage of the population of this planet right now. I'm not talking about in the literal sense just yet, but that's that's coming. I'm talking about they're pressuring people right now via inflation. And then you got the mainstream media selling you, oh, the Fed's in the fight of their lives. Uh, the Fed's going to, and, and central banks around here, they're, the, the European Central Bank, oh, they're going to control inflation. Really? They're the same entities that have told us 
repeatedly. It's appropriate. It's appropriate. It's appropriate to do this. They knew exactly what they were doing. Uh, and they're about to take this up another a notch here. Nothing's appropriate. Um, they are leading us all to our demise on a literal, in the literal sense, period, the end. It's all about control. But they're not done inflating. And that means they have to continue what they started over a century ago, devalue the currency incrementally so people really don't feel it. And then use the mainstream media as a conduit to sell you lies, to sell you propaganda. You understand? It's not going to stop. You have, here in the United States, we have debts and deficits which continue to balloon with nowhere else to go but much worse here. And that's really, in my opinion, and I would believe most of you would agree with me, the side effect of trickle-down economics, which is basically the uh, economic theory that every nation on this world, every developed nation on this planet has now adopted. Do you, do you see what I'm talking about here? We, we, again, another lie that we've... Trickle-down don't work. If any of you believe that trickle-down, in other words, making the rich richer and more powerful is going to help you, that's the lie, okay? And you're being sold that yet again, period. All right, that's all we're hearing. Promises of, of lower rates out of both presidential selectees, weaker currency. How does that help you people? It doesn't help you at all. It's going to destroy you. It's an economic destroyer. You're not supposed to know that. You're supposed to believe whatever they tell you because they're high and exalted. Are you kidding me? They're idiots, both of them, imbeciles, and they don't possess a single human quality, both of them, because they can't tell you the truth. They've been vetted. They've both been vetted by Wall Street. They've been vetted by the central bank. They're given a script, and you will follow this script, or else. See what I'm talking about here, people? Look, with regard to economic news that we got today, here we go. We, let's just cover this. Weekly demand stalls for mortgages, even though rates drop, but the Fed isn't lowering rates. So how is this even possible? Because the Fed is in here, they're buying it all. The, people just, again, have to be told like infantile entities what's actually going on. The Fed's in here buying it all. They're, they're, they're buying all the debt, which is suppressing bond yields on a massive scale. And of course, this is lowering rates. That's how the mechanism works here. I want you to consider what I'm about to say here. We've been hearing a lot of stories lately how 25%, and this is a fact, look it up for yourself, of the world's gold is in vaults under Wall Street. Interesting, isn't it? How they keep the gold close to them. We also understand that the Federal Reserve, in concert with other central banks around the world, have now hit a five-year high with their acquisition of gold. So what does that tell you? Let's put that into perspective. You and I, our motto literally, on my motto that we've all adopted here, okay, because I am kind of like the daddy, uh, we've been saying bet against the debt, become your own central bank. So central banks, in essence, by now increasing holdings of gold, are betting against the same system that they're selling you. Think about that. They're doing exactly what we're doing. They're betting against the system, the, their system. So if that doesn't make sense to you that why you need to be holding commodities here, regardless of volatility or anything else, and, and obviously, look, this environment is risk on. It remains risk on. And again, I don't care going back to NVIDIA's earnings. Whatever, it, it's going to move the market today or the next day, one way or the other. But the bigger picture is, again, with regard to currency devaluation, with regard to artificially suppressed rates, we've been covering this to the point of nauseam. Do you really think this is going to stop? If you realize that these two factors are going to be propagated even more so than you can even imagine moving forward, I really believe that the Fed is in their final stage for their final solution. And again, I don't use final solution lightly. I think this is the truth. They want us gone. They want us dead. They're going to throw things at us we can't believe. Disease processes of, of, of some other kind, bioweapon, vaccines, uh, you know, more war, more death, and more pain. At the same time, creating slaves to their system that they themselves are betting against by holding gold. <laughs> you can't make it up. It's literally like a Twilight Zone situation here. 
but it doesn't change anything for you and me, and that's the beauty of it. I really believe what I've been telling you for I don't know how freaking long that we couldn't be in better spots than we are now, people. Again, from a financial standpoint, what are we doing? We're doing what they're doing. We're betting against the debt. We're becoming our own central banks. We realize that there is no way on this earth, off this earth, or anywhere else that debts around the world are not going to balloon. Central banks right now are flooding the world with more currency. At the same time, the global economy is contracting at its fastest pace we've ever seen. This is a setup here for much more inflation. The Federal Reserve and central banks around the world could, in fact, stop inflation in its tracks if they wanted to. They could stop it in their tracks. How do they do this? We've already spoken about a solution. It'll never be implemented, I don't know how, years ago. We said what the Fed would need to do is contract the money supply on a massive scale. That would also include, obviously, raising rates dramatically. They're laughing. They will never do that because if the Federal Reserve were to contract the money supply, if the Federal Reserve were to vastly increase rates, it would it would sway them off of their course, which they will not be pushed off of, and that is to continue to inflate. You understand? They have a design. Everything we're seeing is by is by design here. So we've never heard. How many of you have heard that from the from the any of the mainstream media outlets that we could stop? Inflation in its tracks if central banks would contract the money supply. This is economics 101, people. Um, inflation is a product of monetary policy. In this case, what some would say mismanaged monetary policy. It's not mismanaged. This is deliberate. And they continue to inflate. And then you've got two presidential selectees, each of them pushing the same narrative. That should raise your eyebrows a little bit, saying... We promise you, we collectively promise you lower rates, which of course means a weaker currency. And what does that do? It's a destroyer of you. It's a destroyer of the economy. And it helps the Federal Reserve in this case get even stronger. I hope you're seeing all this, people. I really, really do. Because you need to take action. You need to become your own central bank, bet against the debt like they're doing. They're betting against the system that they're, they are want us to participate in. Think about how twisted that is. They are betting against the same system that they are forcing you and me to participate in by hoarding gold. Does that make sense to you? If it doesn't, I want to hear from you. Tell me where I got this wrong, okay? Because I'm willing to learn something, although I know for 100% I am correct. And I would believe that 99% of my lions out here are, are, uh, are on the same page. Now look, going back real quick, I would say this, if this stock market drops today, tomorrow, whatever, hold your fire yet again, my lions, hold your fire. We're waiting. We're going to sit patiently for the right time to strike. You understand? We're not just indiscriminately firing at this market. We've been buying all the dips and we're going to continue to do so. But I really believe, and I'm doing this myself, you do what you want, all right? I will tell you. All, I promise, when I pull the trigger to increase my exposure to the long end of this market, because I don't think this is over. I think the Fed is going to buy more debt. I think the Federal Reserve is going to weaken the currency along with other central banks around the world as they squeeze the middle class literally to death. That's it, people. I'm out of here. Um, I want to hear from you. Please comment on this video. Let me know what's going on. Let me know where, where, you, uh, where your head is at. Um, you understand what I'm talking about here? That central banks are betting against the same system that they're selling us, that they're forcing us to participate in. If that isn't the biggest twisted freak show I've ever heard of, I don't know what it is. All right. With that said, people, this guy loves you a lot from the heart. I mean that with all I got. I will see all of you later, 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern for my live stream. Live stream's taken off, people, and that's all because of you. All right. And... The more people that we could bring into this pride, the stronger we're all going to be. I don't know another way to say that, all right? I'll see you all later, all right? Until then, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other.